class, and welcome to the notes for triangles. Our standard today is 7G2, and that standard is draw freehand with a ruler and protractor and using technology. So remember, you have to do uh, these drawings using all three forms. Geometric shapes with given conditions. Focus on constructing triangles from three measures of angles or sides, noticing when the conditions determine a unique triangle more than one triangle, or no triangle at all. We just have one vocabulary word today, and that is congruent sides, which mean they have the same length. Let's take a look at teacher example one, which means your pencil should be down. Teacher example one asks us to classify each triangle. So the only information we're given is the measure of each angle. And we notice that each angle has a different measure so that means it has one obtuse angle and no congruent sides. Our one obtuse angle is right here at 115 degrees, excuse me. And because the angles are all different, that means all the side lengths must be different. So therefore, it is an obtuse scalene triangle. Obtuse representing the obtuse angle and scalene because there are no congruent sides. Taking a look at B. Now B, notice they have not given us any numbers but the symbols they're showing us are important. This little dash right here means whatever side also has one little dash must be the same length. So these two sides here are the same length. Therefore, that means there must be two angles that are the same. And these two that each only have one line in the arc of the angle mean that these two angles are the same size. So this triangle has all acute angles two congruent sides and two congruent angles. So we know this must be an acute isosceles triangle. Acute because all angles are acute and isosceles because two sides are the same length. Go ahead and try classifying these triangles. Press play when you're ready to see the results. Okay, let's go ahead and see how you did with number one. Now, Problem number one, we can see right away we have two sides that are the same length here and here indicated by the single line in each side. We have two angles that are the same size and we have one angle that has a box in it. Remember that box means that it is a right angle. So that means this is a right isosceles triangle right triangle because it has the right angle, isosceles because two sides are the same length. Problem number two, notice all three sides are the same length because they all have the one mark in them and all three angles are the same. All three angles are also all acute angles so we know this must be uh, acute equilateral or equal angular triangle meaning all three sides are the same, all three angles are the same. And you actually don't even need to include the word acute because the, whenever you have an equilateral triangle, all three angles must be acute. Teacher example two, so go ahead and put your pencils down. Now it's asking us to draw a triangle with angle measures of 30, 60, 90, and then classify the triangle. So this is gonna take us a couple steps. First, we're going to start drawing one of the angles, for example, a 30 degree angle. Okay, so we go ahead and draw a nice acute angle. Step two, we need to use a protractor to draw a 60 degree angle. And notice we can put this 60 degree angle on either end and we just extend the lines up. Wherever they happen to cross is going to be our third angle. We'll want to double check this angle, but we need, it should be 90 degrees. So when we measure, we can see that it is exactly 90 degrees with our protractor. So therefore, this is a right scalene triangle. All three side lengths are different, all three angles are different, and one of them is 90 degrees, which means it is a right angle. Teacher example three. Draw a triangle with a three centimeter side, a four centimeter side, that meet at a 20 degree angle, then classify the triangle. So we can start with step one, use a protractor to draw a 20 degree angle. 
Step two, use a ruler and mark three centimeters on one ray and four centimeters on the other ray. Okay, so notice here I've got my 20 degree angle and I've made my points, one being three centimeters, one being four. The final step, all that I have to do is connect the dots. Draw a third side to form a triangle. And here I've connected the dots. I have my inf given information and the triangle is an obtuse scalene triangle. Here I can clearly see that this angle is obtuse. Also, I can see that the, this side is much shorter than the other two, so it must be scalene, all three sides being different. Student practice, excuse me, this should be student practice 2-3. Pencils up. Go ahead and draw these two triangles, and then check your work by uh, pressing play again. Remember, if you don't have a projector, you can always print one off of the uh, website for this lesson. Okay, welcome back. Let's go ahead and take a look at your triangles. I'll bring those up here. Number three is a right isosceles triangle, 45, 45, 90. And you would have known without even drawing it, you could see that it had to be isosceles because two angles are the same. So therefore, two sides are going to be the same. And one angle is 90, so you know it has to be a right angle. Okay, our second triangle should look something like this. It is a right scalene triangle. As you can see, this angle here is 90 degrees when you measured it with your protractor. This angle here will be 30, and this one is 60. Okay, hopefully you did well with this lesson. If you need to recap, go back and re-watch any part of this video. And have a great day.